Hey guys, Rob Potter here from Photography Hotspots. Today I have an absolute treat for you. Have you ever seen any photos of those beautiful odd pylons down in Melbourne? And you've ever, have you ever thought, where is that? In this video, I'm going to show you through Princess Pier where those pylons are. It is a fantastic photography location for, uh, for us landscape photographers. You're going to love it. Check out the video, let me know what you think, and head down there and take your own beautiful photos. All right, so the very first thing I thought we'd do is have a little bit of a bird's eye look at where Princess Pier is in relationship to Melbourne. So we can see that Princess Pier is right here. Uh, we are in Port Melbourne for Princess Pier, and then we have the Yarra River and into Melbourne there. So it isn't actually all that far from Melbourne at all. I think you should leave it, you know, about 20 minute drive from the heart of Melbourne, but really even that's probably being generous as well. So you can see if we zoom right down here, we've got Beach Street, and it runs along there. There is some parking. Um, there's probably not heaps. You've got a lot of really nice um, sort of style buildings in and along here. You do have, this is where the, I believe it's the Abel Tasman, but that might be the old name for it now, but that's where that ports and docks and all those sorts of fancy things uh, when people board it and take off to Tassie. But uh, yeah, Princess Pier is this one here. And again, you should be able to find parking, but you may need to, to look for a little while. I'm not too sure on public transport. Taxi is always certainly an option being so close to Melbourne if you are staying in Melbourne. Um, buses and those sorts of things would probably be doable as well. But a fantastic photography location and certainly one that I absolutely adored. And I have a bit of a video. So we'll have a look at a video and... Um, some images as well that I took down there. But this is a video just straight out of the iPhone and this is at sunset. So the sun at this time of year, and this was in October, was setting off to the right. I do believe that it comes around a little bit more uh, depending on the time of the year. But again, it might be off to your right. And it will mean you just have to sort of be a bit more creative with how you compose your photos of this fantastic photography location. But I'll hit play on it and we can see, sort of have a bit of a look for those people that haven't been down at Princess Pier before. And as you can see, you've got these beautiful old pylons and I love how they've, re they've just restored this. So I'm standing on a, a cement pier taking this uh, video right here. And behind me is the old entry building, which I'll show you a photo of in a second. It's been fully refurbished. It's a beautiful location. And I, again, I think it's a fantastic idea that they've actually tried to keep some of the heritage that Port Melbourne has. But you can see this, it just gives off some fantastic texture and makes for brilliant photography, like for a brilliant photography location. When it was first when it was first shared on uh, on photography hotspots, I, <laughs> I nearly lost my marbles. I thought it was such a brilliant, such a beautiful photography location. And to be very honest, I'd been in Melbourne all of two hours before grabbing the camera and heading straight to this location. So um, I honestly love this location. I thought it was really really cool. Can be uh, quite popular with people. There's actually quite a lot of fishermen on either side of me. Haven't well, you can see a, a bit of a fishing rod here. People there, but. Yeah, so it, and there's the Abel Tasman over there, which I mentioned before. So it can be quite a popular location. Obviously, also for people like us, photographers, go down there and check it out. There was a there were quite a, a few photographers down there, as well as tourists just going down there and check out the location as well. So an amazing place. Let's check out a couple of photos that I walked away with from that day. So here's one of them. Now this is sort of stepping back from where I was taking that video, and again, sun setting over here. And again, I love all the colors we get in, in these um, these pylons right here. Just absolutely beautiful. So there's that one. Uh, now this one was, I sort of incorporated the, the sun setting. So there it is over the right hand side there. And all the nice sort of water and, and pylons. You know, you've got this sort of creamy orangey color then to white, then to, you know, brown. Some of them have a bit of green in them and that sort of stuff. And you can see the sort of crisscrosses of the uh, of the fishing lines, as well as apparently somebody proposed to somebody. So they're actually letters. And I don't know how they got out there, but they're actually letters on top of some of these pylons over there. And then the old entry building that I mentioned before is this one here. So I would actually packed up my, my photography gear. I was sort of chatting with some friends and and then turned around to, to leave and saw this scene right in front of me. So obviously the camera came back out of the bag and I sort of ran straight over and started snapping photos of this because I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. And again, this was just after dusk, uh, probably a bit past blue hour, but really, really beautiful old building. And, and again, like th thumbs up to, uh, to the city of Melbourne for restoring some of these old locations.
Now, if you'd like to find out more about Princess Pier and hopefully head down there and photograph it for yourself, there is a full review on Photography Hotspots and I'll also embed, once it's published, once this video is published, I'll also embed this video there as well. But Princess Pier, Port Melbourne. And there I've given an 8.5 out of 10. Absolutely loved it. It's, it's probably the reason it lost a couple of little points uh, was that it's probably going to be very, very good for landscape photographers. Not really all that great for uh, people that are taking portraits uh, or wedding photography photos or anything like that there because you're not really, unless you're in a boat, and that might be a cool idea in itself, you're not really going to be able to get in and amongst these pylons. Plus, there will be plenty of people sort of lining the, uh, the, the uh, I guess, the end, edge of the pier right there. But, hey, if you've got an idea, certainly worth checking it out and, and not letting me stop you. So... Again, fantastic location, guys. Highly recommend checking it out if you're down in Melbourne. And this is a bit of a uh, time lapse I found of the construction of it, which is pretty fascinating. But I absolutely loved this location. Head down and check it out. Let me know what you think. And happy snapping, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and never miss a video.